Welcome to this video on using Cube Data Sources and MDX. You can download the exercise workbook to follow along in your own copy of Tableau, though you will also need to download the data source as cubes cannot be extracted. OLAP or Cube Data Sources use the MDX language rather than SQL to define calculations. This video does not teach MDX, but rather shows how to use it in Tableau. One of the many uses of calculated members via MDX is to define new groupings that were not created by the cube's architect. Here, we'd like to group some of the members of the subcategory office supplies together into a small items group. I've color-coded them orange in the view. Note that the version of Superstore used in this video does not match the other videos. If we select the desired items and bring up the tooltip, there is no grouping icon. We have to write a calculated member to define them as grouped together. Right-click in the data pane and choose Calculated Members. Press the New button under the first pane on the right. In the Name box, we'll call this Small Items. Next, we'll define where the member belongs in the hierarchy. Rather than creating a new level of hierarchy like grouping using a relational data source, we're creating a new member within the existing hierarchy level that's composed of other existing members. We want this small items member to be part of office supplies and the product group hierarchy. So we'll select the product.product .product group hierarchy. Lastly, for parent, choose selected member and choose office supplies. Now we need to write out the MDX to group these members together. I'm pasting in this calculation to save time, but you can see the basic MDX structure for putting dimension members together. Members of the hierarchy are referenced using the bracket and dot notation, and the plus sign says to bring them together. If you're following along, try and type in the first two. You can always complete the others later. Click the Check Formula button to make sure we haven't made any errors. The calculation's valid, so we'll click OK. We now see there's a new bar in the viz for small items, and we still have the original subcategories that went into that bar. This is very different from a relational data source, but the cube also allows us to filter out these subcategories without affecting the new one. We'll select the ones we don't want and exclude. In the data pane, note that the product group's hierarchy has an equal sign to indicate we've created a calculated member in that hierarchy. A cohort calculation returns a measure when a dimension has a certain value. For example, we might make a West sales calculation that says if the region is West, then give us sales. If we try and create a calculated field using a cube data source, we cannot bring in a dimension. Only measures are available. For any logic based on dimensions, we must use MDX to create a calculated member. We'll create a new calculated member, just as before, right-clicking in the data pane and selecting Calculated Members. We'll click New, and this time we'll name it West Sales. This time we do want it in the measures hierarchy. And here's the calculation we'll enter. This is the syntax to return a specific part of the larger sales measure. We're asking for the sales member of the measure hierarchy, then placing a comma, then putting the place in the hierarchy we want to limit the sales to, in this case, the west region within the customer geography hierarchy. Unlike Tableau calculations, there are no hints or function names available for MDX calculations. You will have to learn MDX and know what your desired calculations and member names are on your own. However, all calculated members can be edited from this single menu. Cubes do not behave exactly like relational data sources. Rather than showing null for all the regions other than west, a cohort defined this way will still show value for all regions in the hierarchy, but the measure value will be identical for all of them. It will be the value for west only. Keep this in mind as you work with MDX and calculated members 
to get the results you want in Tableau. There are many other examples of uses of MTX and calculated members in the Tableau knowledge base. Thank you for watching this training video on cubes and MDX. We invite you to continue with the free training videos to learn more about using Tableau.